I love a good upside down cake. It brings back all these retro memories of the Technicolor pineapple rings and the day glow maraschino cherries. But those aren't the only fruits that deserve the upside down treatment. Lawman's here and he's representing Team Orange. I am. I remember sitting in church for what seemed like hours thinking about if the stained glass windows were made out of melted lollipops. Mm. The upside down cake has that same appeal to me. You went to church in a Hansel and Gretel book. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so here I have three types of oranges. We have our navel orange, caracara orange, and a blood orange. Now each one of these oranges is gonna bring a different color to the cake. Your navel orange is gonna bring orange color. Sure. The caracara has a reddish hue. Mm -hmm. It's more like a pink grapefruit. Then the blood orange has a deep crimson color. Now, you don't have to use three different types of oranges, but the cake's not gonna look as stunning. Okay. So to get started, I need two teaspoons of zest. I'm gonna zest one of the oranges. It's a lot easier to do that when the orange is intact. You learned that once, right? Exactly. <laughs> now, it doesn't matter really which orange you, you choose. Okay. Oh, you can smell the orange already. Now next, we're gonna peel the oranges. We found that peeling it by hand works the best. I'm gonna have to use the knife to just make a little incision just so I can get into this orange. So you mentioned it's better to peel these by hand. Is that because the knife would just take off too much of the exterior? Exactly. So now that I have them peeled, we're gonna cut them into quarter inch rounds. Oh, so you get all those pretty little star shaped segments in there. Look at that beautiful caracara. And now for the blood orange. Ooh, yes. Oh uh, yeah, they're all falling apart. So even if they fall apart, that's fine. We only need a few good rings. And even the ones that are apart, once we put them into the pan, we're gonna lay them flat, and then the batter's gonna go on top, so they're gonna look whole when the cake's baked. Perfect. So now we're gonna make the cake base. Okay. I have one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Combine that. We're gonna put that aside. Now it's time to mix the wet ingredients. Okay. I have half a cup of sour cream two large eggs, one cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of zest. We're just gonna whisk this together for about a minute. So now this is nice and smooth. Yep. I'm gonna add six tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. Great. We're just gonna whisk this together. Okay, now we can add the dry to the wet. Okay. Just looking to combine this so that you don't see any more of the dry flour. Put that aside. For the top of this cake, we're gonna create a caramel. And a lot of times you're using brown sugar, sure. but in this cake, we're gonna use half a cup of white sugar because that's gonna allow the flavor of the oranges to come through easier. Okay. So I have half a cup of sugar, I'm adding one teaspoon of cornstarch and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Just gonna combine that up. Mm. As I've been saying, this cake is a stunner. And it would be a shame if you put the cake in there and you can't get it out of the pan. Right. So here I have a nine inch cake pan. I've sprayed it with vegetable spray. There's parchment in there. It's been sprayed again. I'm not taking any chances. No, nope. all right. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of unsalted butter, our caramel mixture. You wanna make sure when you're sprinkling the sugar, it's in an even layer. Gotcha. Mm. Although I don't think anyone will be mad if there's extra caramel anywhere on the cake. I wouldn't be mad, that's for sure. Now we're gonna add the oranges to the cake. And you wanna make sure that the oranges are in a nice even layer. Okay. I'm just alternating the colors of the orange. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just want it to look nice. Now you're gonna definitely have some oranges left over. These are what I would like to call a cook snack because the cake's gonna take about an hour to, to bake. This will tide you over until Perfect. you're ready to eat the cake. So now that we have the oranges laid out, we're gonna add our batter. Now you wanna use a nice rubber spatula to smooth it out. You're smoothing out the top of the cake, which is actually what? The bottom. Otherwise we'd be making right side up cakes. Nobody wants that. No. Now we're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about 50 to 55 minutes until the cake is nice and golden brown. Okay. Oh, that smells good. It's been about 50 minutes. Now it's time to check the cake. I'm gonna use a toothpick, put it in right in the center and no cake should be left on the toothpick. Now we're gonna let the cake sit for 20 minutes. Okay. It's gonna cool a little bit. It's been 20 minutes. 
Now I'm going to take a paring knife. I'm going to loosen up the edges a little bit. I heard something. Oh, let's hope it was the cake. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Unfortunately, we have to wait one hour before we can eat it. It's been an hour. Yes, it has. We've made it through. <laughs> one last step. I'm going to add some orange marmalade. I have two tablespoons. It's been heating in the microwave for about 20 seconds till it's nice and fluid. We're just going to brush it right on the top of the cake. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's going to give it a nice sheen, and it's going to accentuate that orange flavor. Now it's time to eat this cake. Thank goodness. Kind of a showstopper of a dessert. I mean, as easy as that was to put together, this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, this is my go-to bring it to family function cake mm -hmm. because everyone's going to rave about it. Yeah. You knew that it didn't take much time at all. Yeah, but they don't know that. No. That's pure orange. Anytime there's orange and vanilla involved, I think it's such a beautiful pairing. This is so beautiful. It's, it's <sighs> sweet, but not too sweet. That's exactly right. I mean, that's definitely sweet. You had caramel on the, <laughs> in the bottom of that pan, but there's a brightness from the oranges that just cuts through and the whole cake is super moist. I mean, it's like, it's almost a juicy cake. The oranges, there's some mm. nice tartness. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And the cake is really tender, very buttery, beautiful. Thanks, Lawman. Thank you. And if you want to make this cake, it's all about pushing that orange flavor. Use whole oranges and orange zest. Make a caramel with white sugar and brush it all with a beautiful orange marmalade. So from Cook's Country, orange upside down cake. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>